Printing and Publishing Techniques In this chapter, we are going to discuss the printing and publishing techniques for CorelDRAW X3 in basic levels. Let's start with printing first, and in the next lesson we will discuss publishing techniques. To print any graphic using CorelDRAW X3 print engine, we can either use shortcut key Ctrl plus P, or go to File menu and click Print, or click on the printer icon placed right here in the toolbar. Let's start with some basic options present in the Print dialog box. Basic Printing Options Go ahead and click Print by pressing the printer icon from toolbar. This will give you a print dialog box. The first question it will ask is, what to adjust your printer automatically? Just click Yes. And now we are ready to see the printer dialog box. This print dialog box is divided into six different tabs. Let's start with the first two basic tabs, General and Layout. Here in General tab, you can see a lot of very important information. The first option is Destination. In Name, a drop-down list is present with all printer names which are connected to your system. Choose the appropriate printer from the list which you want to use for printing. Next here is the Print Range, which helps you to choose exactly what you want to print within the graphic. Whether it's a specific document, or it's a current page, or it's among certain page, or maybe it's everything. Here, we will leave the selection as Current Document. Right to this is Copies, which provides the complete control to the number of copies you want to print. If you are selecting more than one page, then you have Collating option present as well. Now, this is a unique feature called Print Style. Once you finish customizing your page setup in General tab of Print dialog box, you have the Print Style option and can use over and over again. Now this is the Print Preview button, present down there in Print dialog box. Before taking this button, see here is a small button present to the right of the Print Preview button. Let's click this small button. As you click this button, the Print dialog box is extended to a mini preview area which gives you the preview of our graphic. You can toggle between pages through these buttons. Let's close this window by clicking this button again. Now just click on the Print Preview button and this will take us to the Print Preview window with some additional controls. Dotted lines, which you can see here around the edge of the graphic, is the unprintable area. Right now, our graphic is within the printable area, so no need to worry about the output. Here is the complete control over all the pages included in this graphic by using these toggle buttons. We have lots more options present in this print preview, which we will be discussing in upcoming lessons. Let's come out of this print preview dialog box and return to the print dialog box. Let's move to the next tab present here. The next tab is Layout. Under Layout, we have complete control over the image position and size. Here we can choose, as in a document, or we can force the graphic to fit the page by clicking Fit to Page. This is a sort of small preview window here showing what is happening when we choose options. We can reposition the image to the center of the page or top center or left corner or many more. So that's about positioning your object on your page. Let's leave it as as in document. Now see down here print tiled pages option. When you have enabled the print tiled pages option what you are doing is you are fixing your graphics print to more than one page so that you can assemble later in one big print sheet. So, up until now, we have learned about all the basic options present in the print dialog box for printing. In the next lesson, we will discuss about some advanced options present in print dialog box.